specifically? Yeah, it's a constant process. That's what com coming back from injury is. There's going to be good days and bad days, and we're going to take it day by day. That's tough to say. Uh, I'll be ready to go by the season. What, what's been like the most challenging part in terms of, is it soreness, tightness? Like, can you walk us through when, you, when you've had days where you said, you know, you're going to have good and bad days? Like, what does your bad day, like, what are you dealing with? Yeah, so it's not always just when you're coming back from injury, you know, you're learning how to maneuver your body in new ways that you haven't done in a while. So there's going to be things that pop up, whether it's the wrist or whether it's something else that, you know, that you have to work through. And that's coming back from injury. That happens every time. So that's, I've been through that. I, I know what that process is like. And so I can handle it better now. Yeah, it's been, it's been great. You know, I, that's something that we're being more proactive about this year, that you know, we don't have to be ready to go in the middle of June. We gotta be ready to go early September through February. So that's how we're attacking this off season and this rehab plan and these practices and training camp. We're attacking it like I wanna be out there playing in, in February. Yeah, that's it's always hard to change your mindset when you've done it one way for so long and that's gotten to gotten you to where I'm at now and I feel really good about the player that I am because of that work that I put in but now I feel like I'm transitioning more to listening to my body and making sure that I'm feeling a hundred percent so I can go out and perform and I'm not making these big big leaps year to year i'm feel really good about where where i'm at as far as how i'm going to play now it's just about making sure my body is in the right place to to be able to do that sorry you mentioned that uh you know you got to make sure your wrist but then there's other other body parts because like people can make the leg ball leg ball like the ankle ball that was story how do you make sure i mean i guess how do you uh how do you process the fact that not only are you working on the wrist but you're to make sure that you're not doing anything that would affect, you know, negatively another part of your body. Is that, that's a tough balance to sometimes? Yeah, it is. Um, but fortunately, I've, I've been through this before. So, you know, I know exactly what it's going to take for me to feel tip-top shape come September. And, you know, our training staff has been through it before. Coaching staff has been through it with me before. So we know, we know how to handle it. Just like anything... The more reps that you get with something, the better you're going to be at handling it in the future. And I feel like we're doing that. I'm really happy with how we've handled it so far. We're going to continue to handle it this way uh, going forward. What are you hoping to get out of this week? Well, get, get the timing with the receivers. It's nice to have Jamar back. You know, these, these times during this time of year are always about team chemistry, building that trust throughout the team so that you can go out and perform on Sundays. And I feel like... You know, we've really, we've taken some, we've had some fun team meetings. We've, we've done some fun things as a team to try to build that. And I think that's what this time is about. This isn't about, you know, making sure that everything is, all the T's are crossed and all the I's are dotted. That's not what this time is about. This time is about being around the, being around the guys, getting on the field with the guys, learning how to communicate out there. So come training camp, everything fires a little faster. Do I have a plan from the end of this week until training camp, or is that something that can put in motion at the end of this week? Yeah, I have, it all, I have that whole, this whole next month laid out of how I want to handle it, my rest days, um, the weeks that I'm, I'm going to grind. So we have that all laid out, and I'm excited about it. Practice is practice, Joe, and obviously you want to be out there throwing the ball, but do you almost feel like throwing the ball is part of the rehab if you kind of get my draft, but to get better, Yeah, I would say that that is definitely a part of it. You want to get those biomechanics back in your muscle memory. But I also feel really good about how I'm throwing. And so now it's just about making sure my body feels the way that I need to come 
July 24th on our first, first day of practice and then through training camp into the first game. This is about how you expected the field, though. Is that fair to say? Yeah, this is – you always forget how hard it is to come back from injury. That's – every time it happens, I think the same thing because there's always – Peaks where you're like, I'm feeling great, and then a couple months later, you have a couple days where it's like, man, I'm not, I'm not feeling that great. And in the past, I pushed through that and caused problems for myself. And this year, I'm not doing that. If you needed to, to access your best throw, your hardest throw into a tight window, do you feel right now you're in a place you can do that? Yeah, 100%. Joe, the uh, playbook with pitch, how much different is it, uh, you know, compared to, you know, since you came in the league? Is that much different? I mean, our our core offense is our core offense. You know, we're going to do what we do. Every year there's new wrinkles and new plays that you add to the to the fold that I, we think are going to help us. And then that's what this time is for to, you know, call those plays in the huddle, go and walk through those plays, and then come training camp, you throw them out there, see what works, see what doesn't. Um, and that's what this all process is about. It's about trial and, fail trial and error, and um, that's kind of – what I like about this period is you're trying a lot of new things. Not everything is going to work, and you're going to throw some stuff out, and you're going to keep some stuff. I mean, like I like I said, every year you're you're putting in you're putting in new stuff. The coaches go through and do the self scout and watch other teams throughout the league, see what can help us, see what can't, uh, and that's the process every year. You definitely feel his presence. It was nice having him back out there. You know, he's a guy that always brings energy, always is talking to guys, whether it's about executing the play that's being run or whether it's just providing some fun and some energy. You know, he's a he's a happy-go-lucky kind of guy that you love being around, so it's always good to have him back. If you don't get any throws in, uh, in sevens or 11s throughout the next couple days, are you not planning to get any work in regardless uh, between now and start training camp? Um, we'll see. You know, I feel good about where our chemistry is. I don't, I don't feel the need for that, but if it happens, it happens. Joe, how much is left to what Jamar's game can be? Is there, are there more levels for you guys to open up with him and ways to use him that you even haven't yet? I mean, when everything you've done so far has been at such a high level. Yeah, there's, there's always room to improve. You know, we've, every once in a while we'll text each other throughout the off season thinking, you know, we're always thinking ball, so he'll he'll text me one of his thoughts, I'll text him one of my thoughts. Um, that's the chemistry that you need to go out and perform the way that we have and that we're going to continue. Read the field as well as anybody. Is, is there improvement in that? I mean, what, what do you do to say, all right, it was a pretty good year last year, you know, I wasn't fooled very much. I mean, what, what do you do to even get better at that and seeing everything that you want to see? Yeah, every year you – you've banked reps from the past. And so whenever a new season happens, you've, you'll see a defense come up against a play that maybe you haven't in the past. And now you've banked that rep for the future. So every year that you're, every year that you play, you're improving your mind, your football mind about concepts, what works against certain looks, what doesn't work against certain looks. And that's a constant progression of, of your mind. And that's what I think is, you know, I really enjoy that. It's like a chess match. You're always banking those reps to, to call on maybe a, a check in the future. And maybe it comes up, maybe it doesn't. But when it does, it's a, always a really good feeling. Do you give any contract advice as it kind of goes through this? Do you have been in the situation last year? How much do you kind of talk to him about kind of the whole process as you wait for it? No, I kind of let, you know, I think the best way to handle that is to let him handle business the way that he sees fit. It doesn't need to be stated. Everybody knows what we got in him. Do you feel any pressure in terms of, you talked about the need to get yourself to September, and if so, have you had to use like different outlets to help you, you know, mentally deal with maybe some of the pressure you feel in being able to fully get through a training camp because you've got an injury? Obviously, I know you can't control it, but just from like a mental standpoint, is that been something you've had to work through? It's definitely something I've thought about, yeah. You know, whenever the injuries start to stack up, it's your football mortality kind of
comes into the back of your mind. So that's definitely something that I've thought about and something that I've had to, to fight through. That's, that's every injury that happens. You know, they, they, they stack and, you know, you continue to think about how you can get better from those and how you can come back an improved player when maybe you're not getting the reps that you had because of your injury. So it's always a challenge. It always is. But, you know, I'm built for it. Our, our team is built for it. And the people that I have surrounded myself with have been through it with me as well. So I'm excited about the season. I'm excited about what we're going to do. And I'm excited about all the guys we have in the locker room. Does, does that help get you through the uniqueness of this offseason, maybe the next six weeks being different than past sessions between OTAs and training camp? Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to not quite grind as much for, for this next month and a half. You know, my my off season has been about 10 weeks longer than everybody else's, so I've had 10 weeks of work that everybody else hasn't. So I feel really good about where I'm going to be at come training camp. Do you have any familiarity with dealing with the offseason injuries in the last few years? Do you feel that, though, that it hardens you and, and, and helps you along the way in the regular season dealing with those in that adversity? Mentally, yeah. You know, you definitely – Whenever you fight through adversity and come out on the other side, it definitely gives you a feeling of invincibility at times. But obviously, you know that that is not the case. And so it's always a balancing act. And that's what this offseason has been about for me. It's not pushing through some things that I've pushed through in the past um, you know, I've always prided myself on my mental toughness to be able to push through pain and push through those injuries. And so that's kind of been my growth this offseason is, is taking a step back and understanding my value to the organization and to the team and the value of the work that I've put in for the last 10 years and relying on that as opposed to relying on my work week in and week out, day to day. You kind of talked about it, referencing indirectly, but, you know, going back to the cap at the beginning of last year, how much have you thought about what you would have done differently over the last few months? I mean, is that something that's top of mind? And, I mean, looking back, what, what would you have maybe done differently this time, what, you know, from what happened again? Yeah, I definitely, definitely thought about that. I don't think I quite handled it the right way. I, I definitely would have taken some more time. And so that's kind of been, you know, I would say the calf was the catalyst for, for that change. Yeah, me and T are always talking. I've seen T several times this off season. He looks great. You know, when whenever he's ready to come back, I'll be, I'll be excited to see him. Would throwing with him over this break be something you would want to do, or something you guys would talk about? Yeah, absolutely. You, uh, you've had some time with a few group of receivers, rhythm, timing, trust, all that coming along. Yeah, it's been exciting to to see the growth of some of those guys. With with T and Jamar not being here, guys have gotten some some, some great reps and being able to have those conversations that I would have had with Jamar and T and now having those reps with some of the younger guys, I think creating that dialogue has been a big part of this offseason. It's been really exciting to see guys like Andre and Trenton and Shed have have really good OTAs and continuing to get better. That's always exciting. Yeah, for a long time, that's all I had. You know, I I really wasn't, you know, like everybody knows my story. I didn't play for, for three years. And so for, those, for that time, all I had was the thought that I was putting in the work that would eventually pay off, and it eventually did. And so that's, that's all I've known for the last, like I said, 10 years. So you know, that shift in mindset has been tough, but it's, I think necessary. Over the last couple of years, um, defenses have thrown different stuff at you guys early in the year, and then you've had to adjust. Do you have any thoughts or expectations on what defenses differently might throw at you this year? Yeah, we'll see. I think, I think we'll see a little bit more variety than we have in the past. Um, but I think, I think we're going to dictate that a little more this year. I'm excited about the, the pressure we're going to put on defenses, with our style of offense this year. I think it'll be exciting to watch. I was on that note, like, 
you guys lined up with your starting three receivers a lot over the last couple of years. Is it kind of interesting to see, you know, maybe you'll have some different grouping, some different, you know, more, more versatility on the offense this year? Is that kind of what you're talking about? Yeah, I think with the personnel that we have this year, we'll be able to do a lot more with, like you said, personnel, groupings, you know, putting different people in different spots and, you know, doing a lot of different things as far as eye candy and making teams adjust their personnel based on ours. So I think, you know, the next couple months throughout training camp, we'll kind of iron all that out and coaches will go back and self-scout for the next month after this and kind of iron that out. But I'm excited to kind of dive into that world. You mentioned the change in mindset. Does that almost, or do you anticipate it switching back when the regular season starts and everything matters and it's that's it with that situation again? Or I think my mindset in the regular season is always going to be the same. Um, at that point, building your body up is kind of behind you. That's what the off season is for. And so at that point, it has always been about maintenance and making sure that you're feeling right for Sunday. So, you know, once the season comes, I think it'll be business as usual. You think that running back, you know, the new backfield, does that kind of open up to a little bit more versatility as well? You get some interesting guys there. Yeah, I feel really good about our backs. You know, Chase Chase looks great. He's an explosive guy that, you know, can take it to the house at any time. You know, he's looked great catching the ball out of the backfield. He worked really hard at that, and it's, paid, it's paying off. And then, you know, Zach coming in has been, you know, he's going to do a great job for us this year. He's a guy that's very even keeled. You know, he's going to do his job. He's going to run really hard. So I'm excited to see what those two guys can bring. Well, we're gonna we're gonna travel a little bit, um, learning how to play the piano. So that's always fun. Um, just YouTube videos, yeah. That's that's been a fun process. Um, but sit out by the pool. You know, obviously, still get my workouts in, but you know, we'll be smart about it. Throw, gonna go through the the normal process, but just gonna be more smart about it. I've got a couple songs I can play, yeah. <laughs> Reviews about the uh, Madden cover speculation. The what? The Madden cover speculation. I don't know what you're talking about. I know a lot of people asked me if I was, but I didn't exactly understand what was happening with that. During the break, your grandma receives a big award here in the next month. What What is her story meant to you? Yeah, our family takes great pride in our achievements, I would say, and so, I mean, I remember the first time my dad told me how good my grandma was at basketball, and so that was exciting to hear about, and so I think it's going to be exciting for our family to see her get that award, you know, much deserved, so we love our grandparents, it's always great to see them, and so to see to see them happy and to see something that they worked really hard for come true, I think will be exciting. Joe, a lot of Cincinnati sports fans talking about the jersey you gave Ellie. You were keep turning up the city. How have you been able to kind of touch base with them and kind of relate about what you two kind of bring the city and how special it's been for both? Of you? Yeah, he's an exciting player. You know, I think their last season to this season feels a lot like our 2020 to 2021 with the excitement that they're they're bringing to the city and so you can feel that energy uh, I went to a game on Friday and it was a lot of fun so hopefully they can keep winning he's going to keep doing his thing it's fun to watch